Uh, whether the Mongolians made Mongolian beef or not is not our concern today. What our concern is, is how damn delicious it is. One of my favorite things about this dish is that it goes together like that. The prep time is 10 minutes. The cook time is less. Once again, if you're one of those people who says you don't have time to make dinner, I call bullshit. What's that from? Come on. Like family guy. Bush. Isn't that a Seinfeld? No. no uh... Bush. I don't know. It wouldn't be Seinfeld. They can't say. They couldn't say bullshit. It doesn't matter. We all call bullshit. Bush. Here's the order. We cut and get the beef marinating. We make a sauce. Then it just comes together. Pretty much just like that. This is skirt steak. And before anybody starts to on me, I know flank is traditional, but I don't like flank. I like skirt and I can use what I want here. But you can't, this is, it's a stir fry proposition, folks. You're not gonna stir fry that. So we wanna cut it into thinner pieces. And of course, we wanna cut bite-sized pieces, but against the grain and long ones like this would be ridiculous. So I like to do this, cut like this, you'll see. And then go and turn it and cut, finish, angled like that. Just do that. You wanna use flank, you use flank. Cut, finish, just like chance. All right, let me, raised and downy. <laughs> <laughs> let me get this cut and then we'll continue. And by the way, if there's little bits of uh, fat like this, uh, just leave them. I mean, I would cut off any uh, big giant wads of it, but if there's a, a wad of fat. We don't like the wads. Nobody likes a wad of fat, but you know what we say about fat. So you're okay with it. Okay. And when you're done, take the beef, throw it to a big bowl like this. Not like that, like this. We're gonna add three things. We're gonna give it, oh, about a quarter to a third of a cup. Oh, wow. Anybody see that? What are you, Mr. Miyagi? <laughs> That's some ninja right nowhere. there. <laughs> okay, excuse me, now I gotta wash this hand. Wow. I'm impressed. I was gonna call your attention to it, but he might have left. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very impressed. Thank you. So where was I? About a quarter cup to a third of a cup of cornstarch. Give it a couple splashes of soy, like maybe two tablespoons, and a little baby drizzle sesame oil, like that. That wasn't very much. And this we will mix with our hands, Max, because we're well, barbarians. Because we have to. Because there's no other good way to do this. Boy, it smells amazing already. And just separate the pieces. You want to make sure that everybody's gotten some of the soy and the cornstarch love on it. If you hear the term corn flour, Chance, what would that mean? Cornstarch and flour mix? Nope. Corn flour is just uh, cornstarch. I think in the southern hemisphere, I think in uh, Britain, no, over there they have it. <laughs> perhaps even in, uh, Sucker. perhaps even in Helsinki chance, your people might use it. Okay, leave that to set. We'll make a little stir fry sauce. We begin with a little bowl with about a half a cup of water in it. To that we'll add about the same of soy, like that, and about the same of brown sugar, like that. And just back with another little drizz of our sesame oil friend, and we mix this up. And when that's sufficiently mixed, most of the brown sugar is mixed through and dissolving. We can set about cooking this biatch. This is our beef that's been uh, marinated. This is a quickly becoming a hot pan. The goal now is to stir fry this quickly. They're thin pieces, they're not gonna take long. And we'll help them with some oil in the pan like that. And then we'll put maybe half of it in and it should sizzle like that and try and separate them when they go in. And if it takes you a few times to get it all colored up, then that's fine. I mean, I said fast, I didn't say instant. This is splattering me a bit and your camera's gonna get splattered. So when it does, you've been warned and I don't wanna hear you crying to me about your lens being dirty. So just let it sit for a sec, spread the pieces out a bit and see this color here. That's what we're looking for. And then as you're turning them over and they've got color, this stuff, this, I know, right? It hurts. This stuff cooks fast. Well, you're gonna smell like Mongolian beef for three days, Max. So beautiful color on both sides. All right, we got nice color on everybody. Take this off, get the pan back on the heat, and finish the rest with a touch more oil. Oh, screw it, I'll just separate it in the pan. And in addition to the cornstarch making this look creepy and beige and not very nice, it's gonna thicken our sauce for us. I'm actually gonna do this. We're just separating, we're just searing, we're getting beautiful color, and then we're flipping over. And remember, same thing here. So when this is done, out it comes, and then we're on the home stretch. Out we come, pan goes back on the heat. All right, so a little bit more oil in the pan and some vegetables. Start with a little red onion, sliced, break it up, 
And then my favorite red Holland pepper. We're just softening these a touch. The term crisp tender is very important in the stir fry world. Don't overdo. Then we have some minced garlic, some fresh chopped ginger. Let those get fragrant. Mm, they already are. It's amazing. And after about 45 seconds, we add our sauce. And the sauce goes in like this. And we let that bubble away. Oh, it's perfuming the entire yard. Amazing. Ready for some shocking information? Two out of three men will start losing their hair by the time they're 35. That's a fact. Keeps is a subscription service that helps men keep their hair. Doctor recommended with clinically proven treatments to help combat the symptoms of hair loss. But you ready for the best part? You don't have to go to a doctor's office to do it. It comes directly to your door. In fact, you even get reminders to reorder when it's time. Keeps has a network of expert medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists to support you in making your hair goals a reality. Each treatment plan comes with a full year of unlimited messaging, so you can connect with your prescribing doctor about anything, anytime. It's really, really simple, and the time to start dealing with it is now. It's not to wait. To get 50% off your first order, click the link in the description or go to keeps.com slash Sam. That's 50% off your first order by going to keeps.com slash Sam or click the link in the description. 50% off your first order is better than 50% off of this. And then we take our beef and our beef goes back in with any accumulated juices because it's the cornstarch on the beef that's going to help thicken this kid up. So it gets a good, beautiful mix. You can see it starting to thicken. So just keep it going. At this point, I like to put in some green onion stems. Because they're thin, they do not need all that pre-cooking like the other vegetables did. And you know I tell you, when you can drag a spoon or something across a sauce and it doesn't fill in right away, it's thickening gorgeously. Look at the shiny lacquer look of the whole thing and this smell max it's coming right at you how is that okay ladies and gentlemen i don't know about you this shit is ready i don't mean shit this is ready to consume look at look at how long it takes to fill back in oh let's go how great is this shit okay i know that brown rice is hip or something these days but this on white rice for me is magical. Look how pretty this kid is. Go a tiny bit more. There we go. All right, last thing. Just a few indiscriminate sesame seeds. Why do people say indiscriminate? There you go. Done. Boom. Finished. Less than, what, 20 minutes. Start to finish. Well, I mean, really. Tender, beautifully lacquered. Lacquered. I keep saying that, but, but look how shiny it is. This is just a dream for me. Yum. The flavors. Insane. I say, no time to cook? Whoosh it!